Melissa, a young woman who lived in the countryside, blindly trusted her brother when he suggested they move together to the city. However, something happened that left her completely traumatized. Embark on this thrilling story now. If you're already a fan of our channel and want to support us in creating more captivating content, please show your love by hitting the like button. Let's dive into the story. Melissa and Gabriel were inseparable siblings. Since they were little, they shared not only the same blood but also a deep friendship that kept them united in all circumstances. They grew up together in a small town in the countryside, where adventures on quiet streets were their greatest pastimes. However, on a dark autumn day, fate threw a devastating tragedy upon them. A car accident took their parents' lives abruptly, leaving them orphaned while still children. Melissa, at eight years old, and Gabriel, at only six, saw their lives drastically changed in an instant. The accident occurred on a winding road, shrouded in dense fog that obscured driver's vision. The family car lost control on a sharp curve, sliding off the road and crashing violently into a tree. The impact was so intense that the vehicle was unrecognizable, and their parents were brutally taken from their lives. While Melissa and Gabriel were trapped in the twisted wreckage of the car, a sense of terror enveloped them. Little Melissa held her brother's hand firmly, trying to calm him amid the chaos. Melissa, where are mommy and daddy? I'm scared, Gabriel asked, his voice trembling with fear. I don't know, Gabriel. I'm scared too, but I'll take care of you, replied Melissa, trying to appear brave despite her own fear. As they desperately awaited help, Melissa and Gabriel cried uncontrollably. The wait felt like an eternity until finally, a car stopped on the road, and the driver called an ambulance while comforting the children. After a while, rescuers arrived at the scene of the accident. With great effort, they managed to rescue the two siblings from the twisted wreckage of the car. Melissa and Gabriel were rushed to the nearest hospital, where they received treatment for their injuries. Melissa suffered some fractures, but nothing compared to the pain she felt at losing her parents. Gabriel had only a few scratches, but was deeply shaken by the loss. After the tragic accident that took their parents' lives, Melissa and Gabriel were taken in by their distant relatives, Mark and Caroline, who became their new family. Although initially reluctant to take on the responsibility of raising two such young children, Mark and Caroline welcomed Melissa and Gabriel with open arms, driven by compassion and the desire to keep the family together. The first years in their aunt and uncle's house were difficult for the siblings. They faced the challenge of adapting to a new routine, dealing with the loss of their parents, and overcoming the trauma of the accident. However, the love and support of Mark and Caroline were crucial in helping them overcome these obstacles. As years passed, Melissa and Gabriel became inseparable once again, forging even stronger bonds as siblings. A few years after completing high school, Melissa and Gabriel faced the challenge of deciding what to do with their future. One day, Gabriel sat beside Melissa on the old swing in the backyard, where they used to spend hours together as children. Gabriel, what's wrong? You seem lost in thought, Melissa asked, noticing the serious expression on her brother's face. Gabriel sighed, gazing at the horizon beyond the trees surrounding the yard. You know, Melissa, I've been thinking. It's been so long since the accident. We're grown up now, no longer kids. And, well, I've been considering the idea of moving to the city. Melissa frowned, surprised by Gabriel's suggestion. To the city? But we've always lived here in the countryside. It's all we know. Honestly, I'm afraid to go there. Gabriel nodded, gently rocking the swing. I know, but the city offers more opportunities, more possibilities for us. We can study, work, build our lives in a different way. Don't you think it's time we explore the world outside? Melissa pondered her brother's words, looking out at the open field in front of her. She could feel the mix of fear and excitement pulsing in her chest. It's a big change. What if it doesn't work out? What if we regret it? Gabriel placed a comforting hand on Melissa's shoulder. We can't let fear stop us from trying. We've faced much worse things together, and I know that no matter what happens, we'll be there for each other, always. Melissa looked into Gabriel's eyes, seeing determination reflected in them. She knew he was right. They were more than siblings. They were life companions, ready to face challenges together. So it's settled, Melissa said, a 
a shy smile forming on her lips. We're going to the city, Gabriel. Let's start this new journey together. Gabriel smiled back, feeling a weight lift off his shoulders. Now that the decision between them was made, the hardest part remained. Getting Uncle Mark to understand. A few days later, after taking care of everything, including renting the new apartment and getting financially organized, the siblings finally decided to talk to their uncles. Gabriel and Melissa exchanged nervous glances before entering the room where their uncles were gathered. Mark was sitting in his favorite armchair, with a serious expression, while Caroline arranged some photographs in an album, lost in her memories. Uncle Mark, Aunt Caroline, Melissa began, her voice slightly trembling. We need to talk to you about something important. Mark raised an eyebrow, looking at his nieces and nephews with curiosity. What's so important that you need to interrupt our activities, huh? Gabriel took a deep breath, gathering courage. We've decided, we've decided that we want to live in the city. The silence in the room was deafening. Caroline dropped the photo album, her face contorting in shock and sadness, while Mark stood up abruptly, his expression turning into disbelief and anger. What are you saying? Live in the city? Have you gone mad? Mark growled, his voice echoing through the room. Gabriel stood up, facing his uncle's furious gaze. We've already talked about this, uncle. It's a decision we made together. We want to explore new opportunities, follow our dreams. Caroline sobbed softly, unable to contain the tears flooding her eyes. But you're like my children, our family. How can you leave us? Melissa approached Caroline, enveloping her in a comforting hug. Aunt Caroline, we'll never stop loving you. We'll always be in your lives, no matter where we are. Mark ran his hands through his graying hair, struggling to control his anger. This is a reckless decision. You have no idea what you're doing, and I won't allow it. Gabriel lifted his chin, determined. We respect your opinion, uncle, but we've already made our decision. We're going to the city. The discussion continued for minutes, with Mark firmly resisting the idea while Gabriel and Melissa remained steadfast in their decision. Three days had passed since the difficult conversation with their uncles. Gabriel and Melissa stood at the door of the house, their bags packed and ready to leave. The tension in the air was almost palpable as they waited for the moment to say goodbye. When Mark saw them with their bags, his face darkened with anger. He began to make a scene, his words laden with desperation and frustration. Melissa and Caroline, unable to contain their emotions, began to cry, feeling the weight of the conflict dividing the family. Gabriel, Melissa, stop this. You can't do this to us. Mark exclaimed, his voice echoing through the house. Gabriel faced his uncle. Uncle Mark, we've already made our decision. We need to follow our path. Mark approached Gabriel, his expression twisted with anguish. If you walk out that door, don't you dare come back. Do you hear me? You won't be welcome here anymore. Mark's words hit Gabriel and especially Melissa like a blow, but Gabriel remained firm. He wouldn't back down. With a lump in his throat, he grabbed his suitcase and began to head for the door, gently pulling Melissa by the arms. Melissa looked back one last time, seeing her aunt's hurt face and her uncle's furious expression. She knew that leaving meant leaving behind a part of her life, but she also knew she had to forge her own path. With one last sigh, Gabriel and Melissa crossed the threshold, leaving behind the only home they had ever known. The sound of Caroline's crying echoed through the empty house as they set off toward a new life. When they finally arrived at their small apartment, Gabriel couldn't contain his excitement. He admired every corner of the cramped space with a sparkle in his eyes, seeing potential where others might see only limitations. Melissa, on the other hand, still seemed to be caught up in her worries and fears. As Melissa looked around the apartment, her brows furrowed in concern. Gabriel, do you think we did the right thing? This place is, it's so small, and it feels like we're really close to the slums. Gabriel placed a comforting hand on Melissa's shoulder, smiling reassuringly. I know it may not be much, but it's what we can afford right now. And you know what? This is our place. We can make it our home, fill it with whatever we want on our terms. She took a deep breath, letting herself be guided by her brother's confidence. You always manage to calm me down. I just want everything to work out. Gabriel smiled, 
embracing Melissa. Trust me, we'll make this work. Our lives will be different now, but I'm sure they'll be full of adventures and opportunities. Melissa allowed herself to smile, feeling a spark of hope ignite within her. Perhaps that small apartment next to the slum wasn't the ideal beginning, but it was the start of their journey together, and that was enough for her. For months since they moved into the apartment, Gabriel and Melissa's situation was far from what they had planned. While Melissa worked tirelessly as a cleaner to support the household, Gabriel remained unemployed, refusing to accept jobs he deemed beneath his expectations. Melissa faced the humiliation and exhaustion of her job daily, but never complained. For her, it was a matter of survival, the only way to keep a roof over their heads. However, seeing Gabriel turning down job opportunities only increased her frustration and worry. One day, determined to confront the situation head-on, Melissa called Gabriel for a serious conversation. She calmly laid out the need for him to accept a job, any job, to help with the household expenses. But the ensuing discussion was anything but calm. Gabriel, we need to talk about your situation. I know it's not easy, but turning down every job that comes up isn't getting us anywhere, Melissa began, trying to stay calm. Gabriel frowned, with a defensive expression. I didn't come here to work just anywhere, Melissa. I have my ambitions, my dreams. I can't just accept any job that comes along, Melissa sighed, feeling frustration bubbling inside her. I understand you have ambitions, but we need to be realistic. We're struggling to survive here. We can't afford to wait for the perfect opportunity. The discussion heated up, voices rising as they both expressed their frustrations and concerns. Gabriel insisted on his quest for more suitable jobs, while Melissa argued the need to face reality and accept what was available. In the end, harsh words were exchanged, and tense silence hung in the air, leaving Gabriel and Melissa even further apart from each other. Two days later, things took a turn for the worse. Melissa arrived at work only to discover that the company she worked for had gone bankrupt. Employees were informed that they would all be laid off, leaving Melissa without a job and with an even more uncertain future ahead. The devastating news shook Melissa to the core. She struggled to hold back tears as she faced the cruel reality of being unemployed once again. The meager severance pay wouldn't come close to covering the month's expenses, leaving her in despair. When Melissa arrived home and shared the terrible news with Gabriel, she hoped to find support and solidarity. However, what she received was very different. Gabriel became furious, his anger overflowing as he began to blame Melissa for the situation. How could you let this happen, Melissa? You should have seen the signs and found another job before it was too late. Gabriel raged, his voice full of bitterness and frustration. Melissa was shocked by her brother's words. She couldn't believe he was blaming her for something that was beyond her control. Gabriel, I did my best. I couldn't predict that the company would go bankrupt. Don't blame me for something that's out of my control. The discussion turned into accusations and resentments, leaving Melissa feeling completely helpless. She could hardly recognize the brother who had always been by her side, supporting her in tough times. With no more words to say, Melissa withdrew to her room, wishing only to escape reality for a moment. She lay on her bed, trying to find comfort in the darkness, while Gabriel's bitter words echoed in her mind. A month and a half had passed since Melissa lost her job, and the situation for her and Gabriel only worsened. Despite their tireless efforts to find work, neither of them could find an opportunity. Hopelessness began to settle in their hearts as the anguish of not being able to pay basic expenses increased with each passing day. Approaching the second month of overdue rent brought an imminent threat of eviction. The landlord made it clear that they would not tolerate any more delays, and that they would be forced to leave the apartment if they did not pay the outstanding debt. In addition to the pressure of rent, the lack of money also affected their quality of life. They were eating worse and worse, cutting expenses to the maximum to try to save what little they had. Sparse and unbalanced meals became the new norm of frugality, leaving them constantly hungry and weak. Melissa lay on her bed, exhausted after another fruitless day of job hunting. The weight of despair and uncertainty burdened her shoulders, leaving her on the brink of despair. Wrapped in her thoughts, an idea began to form in her mind. Perhaps it would be better to admit defeat and return to her aunt and uncle's house, 
begging for forgiveness and shelter. Before she could voice these thoughts, a knock on the door made her raise her head. She got up, walking to the door with slow, tired steps. Upon opening it, her eyes met Gabriel standing next to a man of strange, unfamiliar appearance to her. Before Melissa could say anything, Gabriel uttered only two cold words, you can take. Before she could react, the strange man covered her head with a bag, plunging her into darkness. Melissa tried to scream, tried to fight, but her attempts were in vain. Another pair of hands appeared, helping the first man to carry her out of the apartment. The feeling of disorientation and terror engulfed her as she was dragged out of her home, not understanding what was happening. She heard the distant sound of the door closing and the noise of hurried footsteps outside. When the bag was finally removed from her head, Melissa found herself in an unfamiliar car with the two strangers. Her blurred vision began to slowly clear, revealing a scene that left her speechless. Through the window, she saw Gabriel receiving a large sum of money from a sinister man. Her heart sank as the truth settled in her mind. Her own brother had betrayed her, selling her for money. Melissa tried to free herself, but she was tied up. She screamed for Gabriel, her words lost in the air as he disappeared running toward the favela, leaving her behind in a sea of despair and betrayal. The car began to move, taking Melissa in an unknown direction, as she felt her heart racing with pure terror. She desperately tried to get answers from the two criminals who kept her captive, asking where they were going, but only received sharp orders to stay quiet. Suddenly, two police cars appeared, surrounding the vehicle. The criminals, initially attempting to flee, were quickly subdued by the authorities. A resident of the building, who had witnessed the scene, called the police, and fortunately, a few patrol cars were nearby, promptly responding to another call. Melissa was completely stunned and scared, but was reassured by a kind policewoman who helped her out of the car and took her to a safe place. Relief flooded her body when she realized she was safe, at least for the moment. Later, after giving her statement at the police station, Melissa learned that not only the two criminals who had kidnapped her were arrested, but also her own brother, Gabriel. Melissa decided to visit her brother in prison, hoping to find some spark of remorse or regret in him. However, what she found was an unrecognizable person. Gabriel had become a bitter and resentful man, attributing the blame for his actions to everyone but himself. He confronted her with cruel words, saying he had no choice and that the blame was all hers. Melissa was shocked and disappointed by her brother's lack of accountability and empathy. Tired of arguing with Gabriel and unable to bear the pain of betrayal, Melissa decided to move on with her life. She took the little money she had left and left the city, returning to where they came from, the small town in the countryside. Upon arriving at her aunt and uncle's house, Melissa was welcomed with open arms, very different from what she expected. Even her uncle Mark, known for his harshness, showed compassion and warmth. Melissa then decided to reveal the whole truth about what had happened, even though she knew it would be hard to believe. Her aunt and uncle believed her story and supported her. With their love and support, Melissa began to heal the wounds of betrayal and disappointment. It took months of pain and reflection, but she finally found peace within herself. She decided that she didn't need to run away from her story or her roots. She would build her life right there, in that city, alongside her aunt and uncle. In your opinion, what was the reason that led Gabriel to become what he became, to the point of selling his own sister? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you were touched by this story, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't miss out on another heartfelt video, which you can find on your screen right now. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update, and until the next video.